me versus y'all a doji. You know, we're about to start 2024 with male and y'all a doji saga. You know, we thought we left that a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago, and let it be known that me and y'all a doji, you're the one that brought their private affair into the social media space. So everyone is permitted to talk about it. Everyone is permitted to have an opinion about it. And I'm going to give my honest opinion about it. And uh, whoever I may support shouldn't bother you. You, can, you are free to support whoever you wish to support. So the whole issue started when May drop New Year resolution messages and uh, your little decided yeah, to reveal some deep secret. We do not know if these secrets are lies or if the secrets are truly true. Mm -hmm. So first, let me start with your little what, what he said. Your little wrote, he said, 2023 stole your flesh and blood. But you still had enough time to do breast enlargement surgery and tummy talk without your husband's consent. Obviously endorsed by your married boyfriend. Enough of the manipulation. Stop manipulating people on social media to hate me and feel pity for you. Why you were enjoying your life secretly? Because they don't know the real you. I will not take it in 2024. I have been silent for too long. I'll be doing my best to protect your image while you are doing all you can to destroy mine. Enough. I have had enough. That's coming from uh, your Litochi. So let me now read the message that prompts your Litochi to start revealing some secret. I don't know if the secret are true or if the secret, secret are false. May said, Dear 2023, you were pregnant on the first, on the very first day of January, unknown to anyone what you would deliver. You dealt with me in the most catastrophic way. Too many, too many misfortunes, and the worst of it, you stole my own flesh and blood, leaving me in the most devastating, miserable, and confused state that I could never have imagined. I lost all hope and nearly gave up. I had too many questions eating me up, but I kept hearing that voice echoing, Who am I to question God? I struggled so hard and stood on God's word, commanding us to give him praise in every situation, despite how difficult it is. Truly, I appreciate all the good people you made me cross paths with, my family, friends, strangers, turn friends, and my online fam. I cannot begin to list names because it's a uh, endless, okay, give me thanks to God and saying, oh, uh last year took so many things away from her you know as a human being you have to think about your previous year before crossing over to the next year so it was just normal messages of course we all know exactly what we went through the humiliation and so many other stuff and uh, we all supported me over your little good and fine we did that all that we supported him and meanwhile your the your little himself when he wanted to send out a New Year resolution messages, he said that 2023 was the best year ever. And meanwhile, in 2023, this man lost a son. But he said 2023 was the best year ever for him. But you lost a son. How come 2023 was your best year ever? You know, that message pissed a lot of people off. Pissed a lot of people off uh, online fans and everything like you were supposed to say 2023 was your worst year because you lost your first son but you cannot tell a man how to grieve now you know where the pain are now you know what you see now you know how you go take grief or how you go take 
right in New Year resolution messages. You know, but fast forward to today, after May dropped a whole New Year messages, Yole Doche decided to counter a message. That is wrong. You dropped your own. May no talk. You call the may come drop her own now. You call the put your mouth. That is wrong. Clearly wrong. And uh, after he accused, there are three accusations that I read on that message. Firstly, he said May got approval to do breast surgery and other enlargement tummy uh, surgery. Approval from a married man boyfriend. <laughs> married man boyfriend. Approval from a married man boyfriend. And again, accuser of not seeking approval from him. So, I want to know the question we should be asking is that when May started allegedly following a married man. Was it before you got someone pregnant or after you got someone pregnant? Are you and me still together? You know, those questions we need to ask them very well. Since the matter is already on social media, we need to ask. And again, we need to also learn from it. I saw a lot of messages online. I saw a lot of uh, comments seeing how women are hopefully supporting me. Blasting your lethargy. You know, I'm a man. Hmm? So I'm not going to blast your lethargy just like that. One of the one of the most painful things a man like your lethargy can ever experience is knowing for a fact that your wife refused to be in a marriage with you because you married a woman, another second wife, but is willing to be in a relationship with a married man who already has a wife at home. <laughs> Just imagine as a man, your girlfriend dump you, dump you because say you did cheat. But he can't go grieve for another boy, make it make you know see that person as serial cheater. How will you feel? Would you feel bad from Frank man to fire? I know it very well this thing is fire. So, I understand the pain of Yellow DJ. And I understand the pain of him lashing out. Maybe somebody don't go tell her, say, yeah. your, your wife, your little me, now that married man, they knock, and that married man, they go out with me now. You think go pay your little DJ. Ah, me, me, I married second wife. Me, no great stay with me. Me, no great stay with me. But me, they go, they follow another man. May get wife or house. Do you know how painful that is? I want to reason it as a man. Hmm? Don't reason that with all those girls that will be leaving all you know, nasty comments. You know, you know, they will never understand it. But all the same, eh, I'm not going to go to that comment with that comment that people are making that, oh, did you seek permission from me before you got that other woman pregnant? So because you never seek permission from me before you got that woman pregnant, make her also cheat or make her also continue her life by dating anybody without seeking permission from me. Yes, me has every right to date anybody without seeking permission from your lady. Good and fine. Good and fine. But I'm just speaking clearly on your lady's ground. If I may be your little that matter will pay me too. But what if your little don't do me? Don't worry, say me, me, no evil regard. Let's get that straight. Is is okay? Is 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 uh is justifying enough for me not to evil regard your little input, input on anything, because your son literally died. And you were going about with you were you were already building another family. Your son died. No sympathy, nothing at all. 
Your wife was all over social media singing praises to God, calling God's name, making it look like a mockery to men's to men's uh, family, making it look like a mockery to me and uh, and uh, me everything about me. It's crazy. I understand where me is coming from. But yet again, I still understand your little as a man, how painful it is to realize that your wife, who couldn't stay with you, who couldn't stay with you, with another wife, has moved on with another man who is married. That's to tell you that you as a man, you are worthless. <laughs> that means may not leave you because you know that wife. May leave you because you are worthless, since you don't get. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Make a rather go and marry another date another man who has a wife at all than be with you, your husband, who, who married another wife. <laughs> that can't be for body. So, God, let me know exactly how you feel. I'm not about to support anyone. I'm just going to cast crews and laugh about it. Then, if you have anything to say, say it. I'm not supporting anyone. I mean, no way they want to. As long as it's on social media, we're going to cast crews. We're going to enjoy ourselves.